Hello guys, Zane here. Today I'm going to be tackling the misinformation on H-1B visas. So in my first video, a lot of you didn't really understand the point of the video, and so I am at the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services website to educate you. Okay. The H-1B program allows companies in the United States to temporarily employ foreign workers in occupations that require a theoretical and practical application of a body of highly specialized knowledge. This isn't your basic McDonald's job. This isn't majority of the jobs that Americans qualify for. These are top tier jobs that majority of Americans do not qualify for anyways, and that there is a shortage in. And a bachelor's degree or higher in the specific specialty or its equivalent. H-1B spe speciality occupations may include fields such as science, engineering, and information technology, and fields such as teaching and accounting. For more information, okay, that's just for more information. Um, oh. Um. Delivery, no. Well, let's go to this, um, let's go to this. This non-immigrant classification applies to people who wish to perform services in a speciality occupation services of exponential merit and ability relating to the Department of Defense DOD Cooperative Research and Development Project or services as fashion model of distinguished merit or ability. That's it. Let's do period to stay. As an H-1B speciality occupation worker or fashion model, you may be at admitted for a period of up to three years. You're, ah, uh, no. You're permitted up to three, um, three years. Your time period may be extended, but generally cannot be beyond a total of six years. Those some... Ex, um, exceptions do apply under Section 104C and 106A of the American Competitiveness in the 21st Century Act, AC21 and CFR 214.2, H13, 3D, and E. Your employer will be liable for the reasonable cost of your return transportation if your employer terminates your employment before the end of your period of authorized stay. Your employer is not responsible for the cost of your return to whatever. Um, more information. Let's go there. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't Let's see this one. If you want to load. So this isn't your ordinary visa. Um, your opinion matters. Thank you for visiting our website. You have been selected to participate in a brief customer satisfaction survey. Let's know how we can improve our experience. The survey is succeeding to measure your entire personal feedback. So as you know, this isn't your average visa. This is only for specialized um, jobs, careers. This is not not what majority of people qualify for. <laughs> and there's a shortage in a lot of what they were mentioning. There's a shortage in medicine. And even most of the jobs illegal immigrants without this visa take, like farming and agriculture, it's becoming so um, automated that nobody wants those jobs. So even the illegal immigrants without the H-1B visa that can apply to any job, but mainly go for jobs nobody really wants. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Goodbye.